टर्न ऑन So in this video we will learn how you can work with dot matrix for making this project i have used an arduino dot matrix display and some jumper wires so moving towards connection part connection for this project is very easy Firstly you just need to connect the five jumper wires to the dot matrix display VCC of matrix will be connected to 5 volt pin of Arduino ground pin of matrix will be connected to ground pin of arduino then d in d in pin will be connected to pin 10 of arduino cs pin will be connected to pin 9 of arduino and last pin clk pin it will be connected to pin 8 of arduino that's all about connection part if you have any doubt related to connection you can comment it below So, moving towards programming part. Before going to explain you about programming, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, so please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon button. Code link I have given in the description, so you can download it from there. Firstly, I have included the LED control library. So, link for this library I have given in the description. You can download it. Uh, then, I have connected the three pins of dot matrix to the Arduino. D in is connected to pin nine, 10 of Arduino, CS pin is connected to 9 and CLK pin is connected to pin 8 of Arduino. Then set intensity. This is used to adjust the intensity or brightness of dot matrix. You can adjust brightness from 0 to 15. Then moving towards void loop. This is the hexadecimal code for heart. If you want to print heart, then you need a hexadecimal code for it. and for smile i've used this hexadecimal code and then uh, uh, print a bit it will first it will print a heart then it will take a delay of 1000 microsecond then it will print a smile it will take a delay of 1000 microseconds and if you want to generate the hexadecimal code i've used an application for it i will give the link in the description for this like this is the application from which you can generate a hexadecimal code See if you want to print anything, like if I want to print E, then I will generate a hexadecimal code for it. Like this E, then I will click on generate. It will give me the hexadecimal code for it. You can copy it, then paste it here, like this. And if you will upload the code, it will print a E on a display. So that's all about programming. If you have any doubt related to it, you can comment it below. I will surely answer it. So.